गुड इवनिंग डॉक्टर्स माई सेल डॉक्टर हिमंत शर्मा एंड आर टूडेज टॉपिक इज रीनल ट्यूबुलर एसिडोसिस आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट टाइप वन रीनल ट्यूबुलर एसिडोसिस आर टी ए टाइप टू टाइप फोर रीनल ट्यूबुलर एसिडोसिस सो वन बाय वन आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन एवरी थिंग टाइप थ्री ऑल्सो एग्जिस्टिंग बट दैट इज मिक्स टाइप नो नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट दैट सो कम क्लोज टाइप वन रीनल ट्यूबुलर एसिडोसिस इज डिजिटल पोर्शन डिजिटल पोर्शन ऑफ किडनी एंड दिस इज एक्ट ऑन प्रॉक्सिमल पोर्शन ऑफ अ किडनी टाइप टू एंड दिस वन टाइप फोर इज फॉर हाइपो एल्डोस्टेर एंड हाइपो रेनिनेमिया हाइपो रेनिन रेनिन लेवल गोज डाउन एंड एल्डोस्टेर हेयर गोज डाउन नाउ सी द फंक्शन ऑफ डिजिटल ट्यूबल ऑन किडनी वॉट दे आर डूइंग दे mainly reabsorb the potassium ion and give the h plus ion so firstly it's better to discuss on type 1 than we are going for type 2 and type 4 step by step so it reabsorb potassium and give the h plus ion so what happen if the uh, there is a problem on distal tubule there is a injury injury or damage here it is not working so it can't able to reabsorb potassium in a blood so the potassium is gone through by urine so there is hypokalemia emia means in blood so there is potassium level less than 3.5 in type 1 and it, it gives a h plus ion this is acidic uh, into the urine it uh, enters in a urine but here it's failure so it not able to mix with urine so it accumulates in a blood so the blood ph going to be high less it is acidic due to h plus accumulation and what about the urine ph if urine is not mixed with h plus ion that's why the urine ph going to be up in basic side and what was going to be happen in type 1 it is associated with stones calcium stone because basic urine responsible for the calcium stone calcium accumulation what are the causes causes of type 1 rta is idiopathic sometime chronic hepatitis sometime amphoterizing it will damage the distal tubule and how to diagnose diagnose by ammonium chloride we need to give ammonium chloride this is an acid but still the urine ph is more because it can't able to absorb uh, it can't able to give h plus ion that's why it is on higher side this is on higher side always uh, so how to treat treat by per oral bicarbonate uh and treat by potassium replacement because there is hypokalemia so we need to give potassium per oral maybe kisol syrup potassium syrup 2 table spoon it is 10 ml 3 times a day or we can give some iv potassium also and bicarb we can give per oral also but we can give in iv formation also so till r1 rti i hope it's clear if potassium is not reabsorbable so there is hypokalemia it is eliminated in a urine that's why hypokalemia and uh, h plus ion not given in a urine not enter in a urine that's why there is ph increases acidic accumulation in blood so type 2 rti it's renal tubular acidosis there is proximal this is proximal and what was its function it function is absorbed by carb co3 SO3 in a blood. So what was happen if SO3? It's a basic. It is not absorbed in a blood. That's why uh, it is eliminated in a urine. So what happen? There is pH of blood rises because basic uh, base is more absorbed in. Uh, not uh, able to this proximal absorb h plus 3 ion so it is not able to absorb it is eliminated in urine completely eliminated in urine that's why the blood ph goes down it is acidic because it can't neutralize so what happen there is hypokalemia occurs with, and uh, there is basic urine acidic urine by acidic urine ph because rest of the uh, part of kidney is working properly so distal is working properly and give h plus ion into the urine that's why it is acidic side okay rest nephron work normally that's why here the urine ph is lesser and uh, associated with osteomalacia and rickets and uh, causes of type 2 renal uh, tubular acidosis is heavy metal 
and sometimes acid as well am i it and how to diagnose we need to check the urinary bicarb it is increases if urinary bicarb increases why this is increases because it can't absorb by uh, the proximal tubules it's not functioning here properly that's why the urinary bicarb increases and uh, if bicarb is basic it not enters in a blood that's why the blood ph goes down acidic and the rest of the nephron working properly that's why urine ph goes down and how to treat uh, we can give thiazide furosemide here because it eliminated the bicarb also some studies told so and we give peroral potassium because there is hypokalemia we can give so3 bicarb also because in blood this is acidic so neutralize this blood with bicarb it's uh, was the treatment but always always think about the cause and treat the cause my dear friends now we are going to discuss about type 4 renal tubular acidosis this is hypo aldosterone and hyporenin see the last lecture i already explained here the whole mechanism but understand it what was happen renin renin is secreted from the kidney then angiotensin uh, from the liver and renin and angiotensin um uh, enter uh, angiotensin enters into the lung in the presence uh, then it converts into the angiotensin 1 with renin and angiotensin converts into angiotensin 1 then angiotensin 1 enter in our lung and then lung in the presence of angiotensin converting enzyme it converts into the angiotensin 2 and then angiotensin 2 uh, converts into the aldosterone and this is act on a kidney and what was its function what was its function hypoaldosterone uh, occurs in mainly aldosterone doing reabsorbing the sodium and give h plus and potassium in urine so uh, if this is hypoaldosterone not able to give h plus ion and potassium in urine so what was going to happen h plus ion uh, not able to enters in a urine so ph goes down here this is acidic accumulate in the blood accumulate in the blood not enter in the urine so it is accumulate in the blood it is the ph is acidic and potassium potassium if not enter in a urine so what happens it is also accumulate in a blood so hyperkalemia potassium level more than 5.5 and the urine ph here goes down it is uh, near the uh, less than 5.4 and what are the causes which causes the hypoaldosterone and hyporenin it's uh, like addison disease and renal failure and how to treat we need to give artificial uh, like uh, aldosterone it's fludrocortisone we need to give per oral dose fludrocortisone so my dear friends myself dr himant uh, and uh, i already explain the mechanism and uh, how i make it simple for you if you still not subscribe my channel please subscribe it i hope this video will help you to understand the renal tubular acidosis and uh, if you like my video please put like on it if you have any query any questions about this topic you can ask me i am ready to answer you always and if you want to study any question you can ask me thank you and that's all for today